everybody, good buddy here with my escape from Siberia. That's what I've from going to Curlad with Ludi. But we need to get in front of this fucking forest first. Where the fuck? Oh. Dear Hunter Hoji. Nope. No, thank you. No. No. Wait. Fucking hate Moses. No. I would say Poochie Y, but I know you're just a translator. <laughs> nah! Motherfucking ant! Why is the rate so high? Ugh! Fine, I'll fucking fight you. Say it like this, bitch. We better get a good amount of XP out of this. Woohoo! Wasn't even that much. Get me out of here. No. No, you're not worth it. Hard bread. Bazow. I'm not even fucking mad anymore at this point. I'm just tired. Hard bread. More shit to sell! I don't fucking care, ants. Oh my god! No. Fucking no! Alright. Snowman! There's a snowman. Sing the song. Fleet Fleet Yama singing a song! Snowman is happy. Yay, thank you. Hard bread. Thank you, Mr. Snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? I think that'd actually be offensive to it. Now shut up! We can build it a snow wife and name it Crystal. Finally! No, fuck you, wasp queen! Goodbye! Oh boy. <laughs> Hello. Whoa! If you want to pass through here, show us your ID! Here, I'm Ludwig Fjellschmidt, Siberia's security head headquarters officer. I'm escorting Lavina Vargas and his group. Group. Oh, Ludwig? The other guys already told us about you. Alright, you can come in, but never take your eyes off these guys while in current lad. Understood. Let's go. I will hear what you have to say in security office. Don't go places you shouldn't need to be at. I would like to hear an answer. Okay. The answer I'm looking for is Da. Don't accept any other. Da, are we good now? Yes, that's good. Follow me. I don't have time to waste. 
time. Right, waste time. Whatever. I don't fucking care. Don't cause any trouble in there. Fine. Ooh. Oh yeah, because it's Prussia's place, so they're all red eyed and white haired. Neat. Uh where the fuck do I go? The food arrives in North Canada is plenty the trains is sent here to the headquarters. If something were to happen, then everyone in Siberia would starve, so we have to guard this place very carefully. Okay, that's food. This is Mr. Bielsen's house. He's very busy, though, so he only stays during vacation times. I assume this is it. No, I just came from there. Is it? So where is the- yep. Where do I go? In here? Oh no, you can't pass here. Okay. We go to the basement? Oh shit, I'm sorry. It's so much quieter in here than normal. That's because everyone's in a fucking panic, okay? Zoom. They got computers here. What is the future? Kielbasa are two things we always keep in stock. Cause kielbasa is delicious! Lady, where are we supposed to go? I don't fucking know. Eh. Oh! There's an upstairs over there! Those monsters remain in Neponia and are safe, and it just doesn't feel right to have them inside the building. Oh, that's scary. Wrong room. This is the room. Get in. Here we go. This is where our real battle begins. We need to get some to believe our story and let us go, or we'll be sent to camp or killed right here. So, Fritz and Lavina, don't say anything until we say you can talk. Our goal is to get them to trust us. We have to be careful what we say. How's that any different? You'll see. Alright, good luck, Antonio. They seem to trust you the most. Support me, really? Of course. How are you feeling, Matthew? Are you alright standing up? Yes. I'm sorry to make you worry. That's fine. As long as you're safe. But, Matthew... There's something I need to ask you. Why did you go to the West Tower? You shouldn't have been- You should have been helping with the injured, not wandering over there. To get Feliciana out of your own del- Your own middle. Whatever. You assisted the terrorists escape? No. They didn't have any intention of making any terrorist movements. Feliciana even told me about Alfred being in Siberia. If he really is working with Alfred, he wouldn't do that. Feliciano said he didn't want to defeat Ivan. He just wants to become friends and have dinner with everybody. And you believe that? Yes. There's no reason not to. Arthur, we can trust them. So I... So you told them all about us? Arthur, don't you understand what you just did? To Siberia, those people are nothing but revolting scum. And yet you're telling me you gave them a hand? Think of your own stance in this matter. If you mess up, you make London office look suspicious. You're going to put up the rest of the family in danger. <sighs> I'll pretend. I never heard any of that. You need to hurry back to North Canada and reflect on yourself. I got a plane ready specifically for you. Go home immediately. And don't come out until I say you can. Arthur! Shot it. Water! Stay here until someone comes and picks you up. 
Don't talk to anyone else. You don't have the right to. Arthur. This doesn't do anything to me. I'm sorry, Arthur, but I... K Kiku? I apologize for coming unannounced. How is Matthew son feeling? Not very well. He's still hurt and very confused. May I see him? I won't let him less. I'm sorry. I I'm Please don't allow anyone into the room until he's picked up. Understood. I will make the announcement. Shall we go then? We have a meeting about the terrorist prevention to attend. Whatever. Alright. Kiku? Yes? No, never mind. Is that so? You have nothing to worry about. This old man has difficulty hearing things. Uh, Kiku! To Siberia. North Canada's food is our lifeline. I wish for Matthew's son to get feel better soon. Oh! Alright, let me hear it. I want to know your intentions and your relationship with Mr. Williams. And before that, can I tell you something very important? What is it? We are not allied with the North Canadian terrorist. I'm not saying we have no connection with them, but we are not helping them. Right? Right? I knew it! And you're expecting me to believe this? And we are expecting you to do anything. We are saying what they are, we are not their ally, and we are speaking from that position. So we cannot answer if you asked about their location or main base. Just keep that in mind while you question us. I mean, you can ask us all about it if you want, but all we tell you is that we have no idea, so it'll be a waste of time. Understood. For now, Fever says that's the case. Thank you, sir. Okay, so, let me start with what's, mo what's most urgent. Canada's Terriers and Lev's Revolt are teamed up and heading to Curlingrag as we speak. We believe that they are planning to attack here as well. What? Huh? What? Really? Wait, you just told me you're on FISM. How do you have that information? There's someone who gave us the information. Oh. Mr. Williams. Excuse me? After all the craziness in Ermidal, we made a deal with... We made a deal with Mr. Williams to catch these guys in exchange for our freedom. We couldn't get out of from the front gate, and the tracks are out of the question. So Mr. Williams showed us the secret passage. We separated there, so we had no idea what happened to him after that. I knew it. Mr. Williams is a bad boy. He was friends with the bullies. It's horrible. Terrible. He came all the way here to bully Mr. Burginski. All right, all right. Just calm down. We're still in the middle of a conversation. So in other words, Mr. Williams ordered you to come here? If you want to make it simple, then yes, that's correct. But if that's the case... Why did he choose you guys? I would understand if it's you, Antonio F Fernandez Credo, but the suspicious criminals are some suspicious looking man. And I cannot I cannot imagine them giving someone trustworthy enough to giving such an enormous mission. Suspicious? Our old. But we do have a special connection with him that you wouldn't understand. Connection? Francis, are we really going that far? Might as well. There's no meaning in hiding it. It'll make things go much quicker. Guys, I know this is something, but what exactly is Messieu? Huh? London offices ask... London offices vice president, right? Representative. That man is North Canada. Same with Mr. Burginski. A representative, right? Got it. Next question. This guy, Lovino. Do you guys know what he is? We know him. He's a representative of South Italy, right? He was supposed to vanish a hundred years ago. Huh? Do you understand that connection now? As you may notice, we are all representatives. Just like Matthew, Gilbert, and Ivan. Wait, so you too, Antonio? Yes, I'm Marina. And Feliciano is Vela, and the beard blonde is Rubolf. Ridiculous. We never had discovered representatives for Dorm. South Italy's was just an irregular case. I'm sure they just never knew about it, is all. Us too didn't find out we were representatives until very recently. Representatives are only identifiable by other representatives. It's rare that the executives come to Dorm, so it's no wonder they never noticed. I too only discovered it once I came to Ermidal. 
and it was I was taking a walk around the West Towers. Until then, I thought I was just another guard officer, and I'm sure there's many others as well, who are representatives themselves and just don't realize it. Oh, unbelievable. Well, if you doubt us, you could always kill us right now. Um, why do you bully Mr. Burginski? Hmm? If you are really dorm representatives, then why are you so mean to Mr. Burginski? Mr. Burginski is Siberia, right? He protects the dorms, all of you. You are part of Siberia, so why do you bully Mr. Burginski? That is a misunderstand. That is a misunderstanding. We have no intention on hurting Mr. Burginski. I'm sure everyone here knows as well, but Rina, Bella, and Rubov have no disagreements with headquarters. Kirill, too, have had their problems, but they calmed down already. They aren't dumb enough and enough to, att att to attempt another revolution at all. Then why did you guys come to Overdo? South Italy and Marina may have had to may had I just realized she's probably Japanese. Whoops, I've been giving her the wrong accent the entire time. Then why did you come to Urimido? South Italy and Marina may have no other choice but to I had no other choice to, but the other two. Me? I just went there to have ask for some help for Rubal. <coughs> Sorry. As you know, Rubal has its limit limits. I was hoping to ask at Headquarters for some assistance. Then, what about Vela? I... I wanted to get even his up. He came to claim his innocence about the accused crime against him. But Mr. Morginsky said bad boys came to kill him. As we said, that was a misunderstanding. The idiot Canadian came in and attacked their meteorite. That affected Ivan's emotions. He felt threatened. The is... What is my accent today? He felt certain that when a part of him was attacked, he grew wary of us. So who happened to be at the spot? So in a way, you guys got scared of the terrorist and got angry at him, right? That caused your representative's mental state to become unbalanced. We are dumbs, a part of Siberia. If Siberia goes crazy, we too will suffer. So we swear we have no intentions on harming Mr. Raginsky or hating headquarters. There's no reason to. I'm sure that's why Mr. Williams decided to trust us, too, and told us to stop the terrorists. After all, the terrorist idiot from Canada is also a representative. The only ones who can decently fight with them are other representatives. How such you mention it? Mr. Kirkland told us we would be unable to fight the terrorists. Is that what he meant? Seriously? I don't know what to believe in anymore. Could you please believe in us? If we cannot make any decisions on our own about this, we would have to ask the higher ups. Head up? Mr. Beerschmidt, he too was representative of Kerningrad, that is. If there is a possibility of terrorism in Kerningrad, I would need to hand the decision over to Mr. To Mr. Beerschmidt. I can pronounce things eventually. I'll also have to report to him about Mr. Braginsky and Mr. Veriams. We aren't representatives ourselves, so there's no way we can check our cl check your claims on our own. <laughs> I shall head out to report now. Please watch them here. Got it. We will keep an eye on them. No left. This is the end of part four. Would you like to say, yo? Bam! Thank you for playing. Ooh! So that was it. Oh, uh, things are happening. Ah! Ooh, so many things. Liddy, Liddy, you're a representative too. <laughs> that was a one dramatic update. Jesus Christ. Wowie. Yeah. So, I'm sorry it took so long for me to play this, but damn, there was so much to play. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. I'm looking for the next one. I believe in you, Poochie. I believe in you. Yes. So, with that, have a good day, everybody. Bye.